Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! A man who worked in a children's home in South London before becoming a Catholic priest has been jailed for 12 years after finally admitting that he sexually abused 12 children dating back to the 1970s. 67-year-old Philip Temple first went on trial in the 1990s, but he was acquitted. After avoiding justice for decades, he was arrested again last year and pleaded guilty. Our social affairs correspondent Alison Holt has more details. The now closed Shirley Oaks Children's Homes in South London was one of the places where Philip Temple was able to sexually abuse vulnerable boys and girls entrusted to his care in the 70s. The 67-year-old, described in court as a skillful manipulator, later became a priest. That didn't stop the abuse. Today he was jailed for 12 years after admitting offences against 12 children, one believed to have been just six. This man, who can't be identified for legal reasons, once a young parishioner, told of his abuse at two trials. Temple lied and was acquitted. The effect of it is severe and it lasts forever. Um, I think there are ways to manage it and I think there are ways that you can move forward. Um, but it's, it's still always there. In the 70s, working in children's homes, Philip Temple was skilled at appearing a father figure to get close to his victims. He eventually left Shirley Oaks after complaints. In 1981, he became a Roman Catholic monk. Then he was ordained as a priest at the North London Church, where the order was based. In the 90s, at Harrow Crown Court, he faced the two trials for abuse, at which he's now admitted lying, allowing him to walk free. The Roman Catholic Church in England says it raised concerns about Temple, but that there was a limit to what it could do here in the Diocese of Westminster. That's because, as a monk, he was answerable to the head of his order in Italy. Today, the Catholic Church says it has robust safeguarding policies in place. After hearing the sentencing at Woolwich Crown Court, campaigners representing children abused in care say over the years there were clear opportunities to stop Temple. I'm shocked at the many missed opportunities. When we're talking about historical sex abuse, in this case we're really talking about historical failings. Those children, if they, if they would have been listened to at the first time, then other children wouldn't have been abused. The judge apologised to the victims who weren't listened to, saying wider inquiries would decide what more could have been done. Alison Holt, BBC News. If you